What's up, guys? You're actively welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Coach Azir Graphic. Yo, welcome to the first day of our GDC Design Challenge. Yeah, this is our first graphic design challenge we have hosted for this year, and it's going to be awesome. And this is June edition. So, if you are new to this channel, I would recommend to please subscribe to my channel because it's important. So, without wasting much time, let's just get started. We are going to be designing an awesome flyer right now. That is day one of GDC challenge, graphic design challenge. So, without wasting much time, I'm just going to import all my elements by just clicking on this plus icon. Click on from gallery, locate the place you stored your image. Yeah, like me, I stored mine in download. So, what I need to do right now, just to click on this download over here then i have to crop your wanted part out i would recommend not to miss any part of this video so that you understand what i'm teaching right here so what i need to do right now just to go over to my background put my background to be white yeah you get so once i'm done i'm also going to be importing my main image yeah you just have to like click on this background that's the background i'm using and also on this blurry clock background get so i'll just be working on this maybe later I'll import the location i'm using so you can see it right now you can see this so i all i need to do now is just to like okay take this down reduce it a little bit once you reduce it use your relative position to centralize it and also for this background you are going to click on this go to our erase color over here enable erase color click on this color picker tool make sure you drag this your eyedropper tool to the black background and drop it like that so once you are done just try to increase it a little bit so once you are done doing this we have to go back to our color filter reduce this hue and increase the saturation get okay. so just like try to do it like this so once you are done just have to increase it a little bit so once you are done increasing it you have to reduce your opacity too get okay. so once we are done doing this what you need to do now is just to centralize it and make sure we send this to the back is important so we are done with this first part so i'm going to be working on this second clock over here you can see this second clock so i'm going to be rotating rotating it by just clicking on this our 3 d rotate take this to minus eight you get just take it to minus eight here you can see once you take it to minus eight you can also carry it like choose to increase it and take it to the back for this first clock and we're going to copy this again sorry we copy this again and this time we're going to go to our 3d rotate and increase it to plus eight you get it's important so you can see it over plus eight so we're going to also centralize it like we did before yeah and also move it to this part we're also going to take it to the back of this clock you get so you can see how awesome this looks you can also try like try to increase the first clock to be a little bit bigger and take this to centralize it also okay so okay i'm guess i'm just going i'm gonna take it to the down part because i'll be putting some information at the top i'm also use this opposition to to make this up a bit so we're done with this first part so we're going to be putting our text this is this is our text and my text i'm going to be using is called time clock you get so you just time clock so this is it now i'm going to choose a good font for this for this video so what you need to do just over to scroll and find the perfect font you want so you can see the fonts i use normally i'm using um, pixelable id if you're interested in getting this pixelable id i'll drop the link in the description so that you can download it yeah it's on that pixelable id have a lot of fonts you can see so i'm going to be using this one that is railway extra bold italic you get so once i'm done also going to increase it i am going to color pick the clock background you get so like i said before don't miss any part of this video click on this plus icon click on this color picker to above here then we'll have to go to this clock and color pick the bright the background that is bright you get yeah so this is it you can see how awesome this looks you can also try to increase this a little bit we are going to work in our, on our shadow over here just go back to your shadow enable your shadow here what you need to do now just to reduce this opacity increase this a bit and this offset will have to take it down get and this also like i said before 
listen attentively in this video so once i'm done doing this i'm going to go over to my stroke effect enable my stroke effect drop my stroke effect to be in white so once it's in white over here okay i guess i will have, like i'll have to change look for a bolder font you guys just look for a bolder font oh i guess i'm going to be using this font command do you can see the fonts it's your choice you can choose to use any font you want to use let me just go back to my shadow and work on it a little bit Okay, this my blow reduce well wow, to like drop your shadow. Okay, sorry. And this my stroke also make this to be five. So this is it. So what I'm going to do right now, I'll just go and copy it. And this time we're going to write clock. That is time of clock we get. So once you're done doing this, also have to increase this to the size for the time old we get. So once it does do, okay, reduce it a little bit. And also for the clock. I have to place it to the size you want your design to be so once we're done we're going to be putting the text over here yeah you can choose to use this section is a choice so once i'm all done just have to like take this to be a black a pure black background you get so just make it like this how to reduce this so go to your board option bolding it centralize this also yeah so i guess we're also going to the same part so once you are done have to reduce this also so i'm going to take this clock down so that it won't it won't be consuming our space just have to like use your relative your size to reduce this also and once you are done just have to centralize this okay just choose to touch the size a little bit so once you are done i'm just going to drop a shape a small and tiny shape and the shape will be the exact color we use that is this and what we need to do now we're going to work with our zoom option over here so use this your zoom option sorry just work with this your zoom option you get so once we need to do now we just have to like drag this here Yeah, what you just you just have to like recopy this and place it on the other part you get so once we're done just have to zoom out we are done working on this first part so we're going to be importing our location like i said before just go over to your plus icon or double click on this importing because i'm going to be importing two images so this is the second layer over here you can see this in the second layer yeah just have to like reduce it you can over you can also choose to change the color but i don't want to change it just have to work on this like this so what you need to do right now i'm going to work into our zoom option over here so make sure you're working with your zoom option so that you won't have any mistake so i'm what i need to do just have to copy this first layer take it down now we're going to be putting some address and that is okay and let me just say it's MNS Embassy. Yeah, you get just put it MNS Embassy and have to sorry and have to increase this very well so your work will look professional. So once you're done, you just have to like put a cool address. You can choose to put your house address or anyone, but I choose I guess I'll just have to like use any guess any the location of the church. Okay, I'm more agree with, uh, river state water court yeah you get so i'm just going going to use this address reduce this use your relative size to work on this also reduce this very well so once you are done just have to like place it at this part okay yeah i'm going to drop it like this so the next thing we're going to do right now we are going to like resize this um um this facebook logos and we're going to put a cool text for that you can choose to put your brand name yeah your brand name because it's important yeah i'm gonna put coach isaiah graphic like you know why i'm coach isaiah graphic in case you are, in, you are new so i will have to like zoom out and check out what i'm working on so you just are like like i said before you just need to be working with your zoom tool because it's important i can see what you're actually working on you get okay so just have to take this to this part yeah i guess this okay no 
so make sure you're working with your grid line your grid line yeah this is your grid line is important make sure you're working on it so that you know what you are doing here and you won't make a single mistake so you just have to like take this pass to this part and also i'm going to be putting some dates i almost forgot so you just have to like copy this again once you copy it, you're going to choose a particular date for what you want to use so i guess i'm going to be using june um uh okay let me just use sept that is september september 22 28 2024 yeah and time will be 7 7 30 to um 9 30 is your choice you can you can use anyone else to use so once i'm done i'm also going to use my grid line also to position it to that part so once you are done just have to click on that and lock it and make sure you position it very well so i guess we're just going to like take that eminence part this eminence embassy and this text like we'll have to adjust it back a little yeah okay this location embassy and home way yeah, I just have to like adjust it back a little bit so that your work won't look tattered. And also for this logo, also, I'm also going to click on it and use our um your, our position tool to move it like this, okay, so that to make it look professional to others. Okay. So I guess this will be all for today. Yeah, this is beautiful, right? You can see it over here, it's very beautiful and cool. I guess this will be all for today. Though if you love this video, I please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I'll have to save this image. Note before you are working on all these objects, make sure you lock all these layers so that your work will be very neat, very neat, and you won't like make mistake you get. So I'm going to lock it. So I'm going to save this to my gallery, divorce ultra save to gallery. So see you in our next video.